uh hello guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my home uh this is christmas eve i am just recording our activities what we usually do on christmas eve this is a polish tradition that uh we have kept ever since i met my husband 20 years ago we have celebrated each christmas eve together as a family and uh is a tradition that we have kept alive uh, even when we moved away from Poland and we live in the UK we still do keep the tr tradition alive my children actually enjoy this Christmas Eve because it's actually a build-up into the Christmas festivity on the, the 25th of December so we do not go big when it comes to making a dinner and all that kind of stuff but uh, we eventually have our big christmas dinner on christmas day so yeah enjoy and i hope you like it and remember you are welcome to subscribe and to also follow us so that we keep uh working together and walking together and experiencing new things together so guys Thank you very much for stopping by and uh, I do hope you're going to enjoy this video. Uh, so guys, I just want to show you my living room. We are just about to have our traditional Polish uh, Christmas Eve dinner. Everything is set up. The table is set up. The atmosphere is absolutely lovely. You can see we've chosen... Um, christmas theme on the television and there is christmas music playing at the background all the candles are lit all the lights um all the christmas decorations are all out uh the candle on the lantern is uh lit this is the first time we've actually put that candle on so it's quite nice as you can see i have all my star theme um, on the wall the freestanding one and we also do have this one which is a paper lantern star which i absolutely absolutely love and we also have some other decorations on the window which obviously they are covered by the blind so this is how our christmas uh theme decorations turned out this year i have this on the table this uh table runner has a long history i came with it uh from poland so we are talking about i've had it for maybe around 15 years and we use it every christmas and i absolutely absolutely love it so this is our nice lit christmas tree i haven't yet put uh the presents out on the christmas tree i will be doing that uh later in the evening um and uh we have our christmas house and some more christmas lights and baubles on that um uh, container as you can see the atmosphere is absolutely absolutely loving uh lovely uh on this other end is where the table is all nice and set i uh wanted to put that uh light over the table before we had this christmas and uh, the effects are absolutely absolutely lovely it is on the christmas table is set up and this is how we have dressed the table um we have the table uh, the plate for the soup we have uh, the fork the spoon and the serviettes i especially love this round uh serviettes that we also put on the uh, place mats uh, which look really really nice and crispy i also love the candle and this um, flower that we bought and it is already now come out and it is looking lovely 
nothing too cluttered on the table and i am just loving how it just looks uh, a simple theme nice for the four of us and most importantly this is a traditional polish um wafer which usually is just a thin wafer which we usually share uh between uh the families or if you're having friends over and uh we wish each other a merry christmas and a happy new year and we also read from the bible so we read the christmas story before we share uh the meal which i uh, will be showing you what uh is the traditional polish uh dinner that we have we usually do not go overboard with so many dishes we just have a very simple meal because we are going to have the main big christmas uh meal on christmas day so this is the start of our christmas uh celebrations which kicks off on christmas eve and then we end up doing the big celebrations on christmas day the birth of jesus foretold uh, luke uh, 1 29 in the sixth month god sent the angel gabriel to uh, nazareth a town in galilee to a man named joseph a descendant of david the virgin name was mary the angel went to her and said greetings you who are highly favored the lord is with you mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what the king of greeting what kind of greeting this might be but the angel said to her do not be afraid mary you have found favor with god you will be with child and give birth to a son and you will leave him uh you will give him the name jesus he will be, he will be great and he will be called the son of the most high the lord god will give him the throne of his father david and he will reign over the house of jacob forever his kingdom will never end how will this be mary asked the angel since i am a virgin the angel answered the holy spirit will come upon you and the power of the most high will overshadow you so the holy uh, one to be born will be called the son of god even elizabeth your uh, relative is going to have a child in her old age and she who was said to be barren is in her sixth month for nothing is impossible with god i am the uh, lord's servant may uh, mary answered may it be to me as you have um, said then the angel left her may the lord bless his word so after reading uh the birth of jesus uh story we uh share in a uh, christmas uh, carol and then we now uh, go ahead and share the wafer uh, among ourselves i do love this tradition it is one which i absolutely absolutely treasure because it is the point in time before the start of the new year when you're meeting with family, when you're meeting with friends and uh, sharing is also a symbolic point uh, in our lives where we usually forgive each other. Uh, whatever has happened throughout the year, let go and then also make wishes and pray that all will be well with the person that you are sharing your offer with. I love this because I is something that you can look back and see and reflect on. And uh, it's something that even though it may not be a tradition for uh, other people, but it's something that other people can embrace and learn from, especially as families these days can be actually estranged of or relationships 
can be fractured and it is important to always look back, especially family where it is important to have good relationships and where things go wrong, we can always look for a way to repair them and move on with love, respect and also uh, supporting each other. So this is a tradition that I have transferred uh, through marriage to my children and uh, I hope and pray that my children will also continue this tradition even as they grow older and they go and start their own lives at some point in the future. This is my son Batosh. He's very cheeky. He's nine years old and I am sharing uh, my wafa with him as he's sharing uh, his with, m with me. Uh, and <laughs> you can see he's just looking at the camera and not quite concentrating uh, while I am uh, giving him my wishes. Uh, but anyway, after we finish uh, sharing uh, and wishing each other a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, we uh, proceed uh, to having our dinner, uh, which is, uh, as you can see on the table, it is the beetroot soup, which is nicely seasoned, and we eat it with uh, dumplings, we call them ushta in Polish, they are stuffed with uh, mushrooms and uh, sour cabbage, they are really, really good. And especially this is a good soup when it comes to uh, the cold weather. 
and as you can see uh, the meal after is a simple meal because as i said before we will be having our main uh, feast on christmas day guys thank you very much for stopping by and uh, i do hope uh, this video has explained a little bit of what we are all about especially our christmas uh, eve traditions and uh, i do hope you've enjoyed it and do remember to leave a comment uh, subscribe and uh, i do hope to see you in the next one bye for now